Pillow Talk. Come out to his DVD giveaway. He's going to give you some more information about this book that he has. Think Volume 1 kind of just lets a little bit about it and tell you, you know, what's up and coming. So when the book comes out, you'll be ready for it. Get the book. I recommend it. Thank you. Do you feel that he's uh, he may he may have stolen some of the information that you've given him and, and put it in book form? Does oh, that bother you? No, 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 no. See, what, what you what you have to understand is is that it's all traditional, baby. You know, it, it's all traditional. You know, and and you know, me myself, like I've had the privilege to to actually read the book before before any of you. You know, and and. And that's one of the topics that he talks about in in the book. You know, it's it's it's, it's traditional. You know, it, it's passed down from from generation to generation to to generations. You know, and and, and that's what it's all about. You know, it's Tyrone Scott reporting live from Samos Clothing, twelve twenty two East North Avenue. Um, we're here to talk about my cousin, Christopher Hicks, um, his new book, Think, Volume 1, Know Him All My Life, got a lot of love for him, don't know how much he know about love, but got a lot of love for him. Think, Volume 1, top that. This is your man, Ricardo, saying, you know, go pick up the book, Think, Volume 1, you know, I, I recommend it for all you young guys coming up in the game who who just starting to date and who just really starting to get their feet wet. You know, if you have if you even if you don't even have any feet yet, you know, you need this game. You need you need this book, you know, it's gonna help you and it's gonna mold you. You know, you know, it's I'm I'm telling you, you know, this my heart is out to you guys and, and, and you know it's gonna help you, you know, it's, it's Whatever you want, you know, it's, it's, it's good information and it's positive information, you know. It's not it's not to mess the game up, but to improve the game, you know, because that's what it's all about. It's about improving and getting better, and, and, and that's what this book is about, baby. You know, you know, just, just trust me, baby. You know, do you trust me, baby? Say you trust me, baby. I trust you, baby. You trust me, baby? Yes, baby. Thank you, baby. That's what the, that's, and that's what this is all about, baby. You know, that's that that. It's it's all here for you. It's also a motivational book. Also, it's just not about relationships. You know, I talk about life, reaching your goals. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that, and just being focused. So, it's just not about just you know just relationship wise. So this is just volume one of Think. Right. So, am I correct in thinking that there's going to be a volume two? Yeah, it's going to be a volume two. Volume two is actually going to be about breaking up. Ooh. Right. Okay. So let me, let me ask you a question then. Or you won't wait. No, that's fine. All right. Um. I thought I was asking the question too. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, what makes a, a relationship successful? In my opinion. Yeah. Well, I. I I think it is a lot of the things that, we, that you know, you say are in the book. Um, first of all, you have to have love, but right. I do think compromise is a big thing. I yeah, think that's too. probably the biggest thing right. to me. And you have to, really, you have to be compatible. I mean, some people just, they're just not going to work. They just, right. it's just not going to work. I understand. So, you know, like if there's a girl who really wants to primp and then there's this guy who you know wants to go to the mall with her in his pajama pants it's not going to work <laughs> right. because you know he's going to say she's stuck on herself and she's like no I'm not not at all but mm -hmm. I wasn't raised like that either so it's right. just certain things you know I think you have to have family value I think it's a lot and you have to have understanding for <laughs> Everything, you know, every situation, that past situation, right. relationships are, are tough. Right. I mean, I think it takes a full, like, two years to get to two really. Two years? 
to know get somebody the, to truly know somebody two years you know? i really think it's five but five yeah i don't but you know what i guess i guess you're right because you know it's it's they from from what they say you know you never really know a person right, right. so i guess five years a long time but well you know they say it gets to a point i think you know what i think i'm sorry to cut you Go off ahead. But i think it's just all about the connection that you and a person makes that has a whole lot to do oh with well chemistry i'm a big big believer in, in pheromones that is right. where you could just see somebody across the room like yep yeah that, <laughs> and if you, you you have the chemistry you don't and you right. know if you don't have chemistry it's just not gonna work but mm -hmm. so you're doing all kinds of things even like round table panel discussions right um actually uh not not too long ago um dmd and mm -hmm. it's experience they uh actually had a the theme was the real housewives of baltimore and what that was it was like a round table discussion and i was a host and the girl kanika feaster mm -hmm. she does talk lounge uh tv that's on uh, i think that's channel 75 cable mm -hmm. public access me and her actually hosted that event and um it was basically a round table and uh the uh, people consist of single, um, married, divorced, things like that. And um, we basically just put questions out there and we just discussed it. Just the questions just went around and me and uh, Kanika, we also, you know, put our input into the question that was put out there. And um, it actually turned out, it was a good event. It turned out all right, you know. So, mm -hmm. you know, in the future we will, you know, we, we'll put together some other things. and. Uh, you know, we we keep it nice and hot for everybody. So, you know, I'm trying to get in on a roundtable discussion because I got some things to say. <laughs> you got some things to say. Yeah. All right. So we're gonna be on the lookout for the book signings, college tours, Oprah's couch, everything. Yeah. Um. Actually, next year we have. Well, we got actually two dates confirmed. Um. In May. I think it's in May we go down to Houston and I think November mm -hmm. of next year. All this is in 2010 and we're just going to fill up, you know, we're going to go down um, Miami for a little book festival down there. So, you know, after the book comes out, we just we just going to hit the road and we're just going to try to push it. You know what I mean? So that's right. what's in store. I got some uh, road tripping ahead of you. Yeah, and then hopefully, you know, we're gonna get Miss Brandy on uh, involved in something. I'm gonna surprise Miami. you with it. <laughs> right. <laughs> Can I sign up for Miami? <laughs> right. All right. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it, you know. So we just need everybody to come out and support. You know, it's for a good cause. You know, any any events we had, like, you know, you were at the um. What was that? The the, uh, the website launch, you know. It we, was beautiful. We did the uh, the charity thing, the uh, House of Roof mm -hmm. for Battered Women. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when we do this book launch, you know, for when the book comes out, we're gonna do another charity, and we're gonna continue to, you know, just give back. You know what I mean? Because that's what it's really all about. But congratulations on everything you do. I'm excited. Thank you. I'm logging onto the website. I'm super excited. I'm hungry too. All right. So I'm gonna flip this Moe's menu open and. Um, right. See if I can get me some fettuccine. Fettuccine? Yeah. All right. I think I'm gonna get the stuffed chicken. Oh. Cajun though. I like it hot. Garlic crack. I like it hot. <laughs> Apparently, that's why you wrote a book about. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. And we're all here to, you know, to pay homage and and to celebrate. You know, the, the release of the book, Think Volume 1. Think Volume 1. Think Volume 1. Think Volume 1. Think Volume 1, coming soon in a store near you. I really wish him much success. I hope that you will go out and support what he's doing because he's another positive African-American male who is speaking about a great topic and is giving positivity to the community. Good luck with everything you're doing, Chris. Just keep up the good work. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm here with you. Make sure you support my colleague, my friend, my author, Chris Hicks. I recommend, I demand, and I need you to go out and support. Baltimore, we're doing big things. Don't forget Chris Hicks. Think by your one. Think, 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 think by your one.
by the, the, the author Chris Hicks. Cop that. Don't say I didn't tell you so. Yeah.